All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do, what they ask you to do, is they say solve each equation by using the square root method. All right? Now if you remember the square root method, just think about that process. The square root method, do you think that's probably, gonna, and, um, probably going to deal with taking the square root? Yeah. Probably, right? That square root method, you kind of, you know, thinking about that means you're probably going to have to take the square root. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to see if we can get this to where we have a square root in there. Now usually what we've always done, what I've told you guys to do, is when you have a problem like this where we need to solve, you need to find the values of x, the first thing we always did was set it equal to 0. Because when you set it equal to 0, you can factor it and use the zero product property. So if I was to do that, all right, I'd get x squared plus 16x um, plus, let's see, 49 equals 0. right? And, but then you need to determine is what two numbers multiply to give you 49 but add to give you 16. And when you try to factor this, you realize that it's not factorable, right? You can't factor this in, our, in what we've learned. So there's another thing that kind of comes up to this problem that you guys need to understand and look for. So this method is not going to work because we can't factor this expression to, to use the zero product property. But what I notice. And you guys got to look for these. You got to look for your square numbers. You got 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225. What you need to notice is you look for those square numbers. If you see a square number, always look for either difference of two squares or see if you can write this as a perfect, um, perfect or look if it's a perfect square trinomial. 64, that's a square number, right? If square number that's really 8 squared is does 8 plus 8 give me 16 yeah so I can factor this really quickly and just say it's x plus 8 times x plus 8 right or I can just write x plus 8 squared equals 15 now remember we're trying to solve for x so how do I undo squaring yeah question yeah okay well how do you undo your squaring take the square root Yes? Yes? Listening? Yeah. Oh, you didn't have a question. OK. So now I take the square root of 15, which I cannot simplify any further. And then I'll just subtract 8. And please remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you write your answer, x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 15. When we introduce the square root, we have to make sure we include the addition the positive and the negative value. Yes? I um, want to go against those directions, and I want you to leave your answer like this. Yes? Yes, you can. Um, but I'd prefer you guys writing it like this. OK? Cool? All right. 